Okay, so I'm just going to go over a few um, figures first. Um, we've got 40,000 children that participate every year, and they start out in school, and then after that we've got um, 9,000 that qualify for the regionals, um, and then there's 50 regional events, um, and overall there's a prize fund of £15,000, so the tournament is very prize focused. Um, the idea at the beginning is to get lots of children into chess, so those that participate in the county stage um, are not, not very strong, uh, but they're just playing, you know, 50% of them, it's their first tournament. Um, so the tournament was established back in 1996 by Mike Basman, and um, that was, I first played in it in 1996. It was my first tournament, got me into chess, um, and that's what it's done for thousands and thousands of kids over the years. Um, it's now in its 24th season, um, I'm sure you all heard what happened to Mike Basman. Um, absolutely great guy, but just didn't play his VAT. <laughs> so um, I thought, because the tournament was close to me, I'd take over and continue the great work that Mike Basman put in uh, with some changes. Um, you used to have to go and send a check-in to <laughs> enter the tournament, and parents didn't bother entering their children because of this. So we introduced online entry, and things like that, which was very, very welcomed by parents. Um, it is run as a for-profit organisation, um, and we are very grateful for our sponsors, Delancey. Um, in England, there's no funding for it, so it's all through sponsorship and uh, tournament entry fees. Okay, so I talked briefly about this before, um, but basically, children start at school. If they, uh, they play seven games, it's um, a 3-2-1 scoring system, so all children can enjoy it, because they're always getting points, and there's prizes at school. And then if they get a certain amount of points, they qualify for the mega finals, um, the regional uh, 52 events we have. And um, the kids will you know, play their first tournament, 50% of them. And if they do well in that, they qualify for the giga final. And if they do well in that, they qualify for the terra final. And then that's where all the prize money comes in. So we have some very, very strong players that participate. We also have some absolute beginners. So it's, it tries to cover all ranges of abilities. And, and the last event is, is pretty epic. We, you know, we have it all on Chess 24, and uh, we have you know, really, really strong players fighting for the money, so it's good fun to watch. <laughs> uh, so a bit more detail about the school stage. So you, if you enter online, you get a school kit, kids get badges. Every time they win a game, they get a gold sticker. Then they get a furry mascot, and then this year, because we want to make it more about children improving their chess, we introduced the battle manuals, um, which basically has got top tips in and helps the children improve. And the teachers get a teacher manual. So, then there's the mega finals. Um, we like to give all the children certificates of their achievement for qualifying, and you know it's their first experience of a tournament. So for a lot of the parents, it's a bit overwhelming. They don't really understand that. You know, kids have to sit on the left or white and black, you know, things like that. Um, so this is quite hard work for the organisers. Um, there's loads and loads of very basic questions. Um, but it's great fun. I um, always have a good day. And then there's the Giga Finals, um, which we've got three of now. When Mike Bousman used to run it, there were two. But the capacity, well, because you could enter online, more people were actually entering the qualified. So we've got three events, uh, one in the north, one in the south, and one in the Midlands. And um, this has got a great atmosphere. Uh, it's a bit more serious than the mega finals. And there's these hoodies that the children like to buy, and you know, fun things going on as well as the chess. Uh, we have an organising team up there. We don't wear yellow, we wear purple. <laughs> uh, so you can recognise the staff if there's any problems. Okay, so yeah, we've got plans to grow the tournament. Um, the first couple of years for us, we're in our third season, was to stabilise the numbers and stabilise the tournament, make sure everything was running smoothly. Um, but you know, we're working with Mike Klein to do a chess kid partnership this year. Um, again, just to get the kids into chess and enjoying the online aspect of it as well. Um, and what else is there? Yeah, we've also got some European plans as well. Again, okay, there's obviously a lot of challenges that come with running these tournaments. Um, you know, the venue prices increase every year. We're not lucky enough to have a stadium or anything, but I was kind of in awe of the previous presentations. That I'd love to have that. That would be my dream, to have a stadium to do the finals. Um, 
a lot of our organisers are, um, you know, have been doing it since the start and they're a bit older and, you know, the problem is we just need more people coming through wanting to help junior chess um, in the UK and, um, you yeah, know, finding teachers and volunteers is not always an easy task but we've got some great ones out there.